What's up guys, it's Toby here and welcome to the Premier League fixtures reveal video where we will analyze Liverpool's and the biggest teams of Premier League fixtures. So if you are excited for the Premier League season, leave a like and also subscribe if you are new around here. I post daily uh, football and career mode videos. A new Liverpool career mode episode is dropping very soon. I'm still working on it as well as I'm working on the Hungary Portugal vlog that I recorded yesterday at the Pushkash Arena. It was an electric atmosphere. Of course, not the result that I wanted because I support Hungary, but it was still a great game uh, to watch in uh, person and the uh, atmosphere was absolutely terrific. So if you want to see that vlog, leave a like as well. And Liverpool will start away at a newly promoted side, Norwich City, who won the championship last season. And I'm really excited because Liverpool, I think, have a very, very good fixtures. Man City on the other hand will play some incredibly hard fixtures in the first like seven or eight game weeks they play a lot of big teams so it looks like Liverpool could have the advantage at the start of the season and the highlight for me is the Tottenham Man City game on the opening day of the season and as I said Liverpool will play Norwich uh, Arsenal will play another newly promoted side Brentford away from home Norwich Liverpool is a tricky game because the fans will be back in the stadium hopefully the stadiums will will be full with home and away fans and Norwich at home really want, would want to get off to a good start with their home fans behind them. Man United will play Leeds United so that is also a big fixture in my opinion and um, Chelsea will play Crystal Palace and first let's analyze the Liverpool fixtures because I think that's what you guys are most interested in. So Liverpool start off with Norwich City away but then we play Burnley at home so the first two fixtures are on paper winnable fixtures but the games almost never turn out to be the way you expect to for example Liverpool really struggled against smaller sides last season but we had a very good record against big teams hopefully with Konate, Van Dijk, Joe Gomez, Joel Matip all back and Konate joining of course as a new player hopefully Liverpool won't have a defensive crisis to contend with and also we will take a look at how the fixtures uh, how the fixtures are impacted by the Africa Cup of Nations, which will be hosted in January, uh, at the, uh, in the middle of January and until the, the start of February. So the first big fixture for Liverpool is on game week three, which is the Liverpool-Chelsea fixture. So at least we play a really big team at home first. And then we play Leeds United away, which is always a tough game. Crystal Palace at home, Brentford away. So you can safely say that in the first six game weeks, Liverpool have just one really, really big game, which is the Liverpool-Chelsea game. Of course, the Leeds-Liverpool game is, is also big in a historical context, but um, yeah, it, it's going to be tough. But after that, the biggest one, I think, is Liverpool-Manchester City on October the 2nd, of course, uh, probably on that weekend, but not exactly sure when it will be played. And then we play Watford away and Man United away. So at least in the first 10 games, we play Man United, Man City and uh, Chelsea. But the good news is that Liverpool play the biggest teams at home uh, in the first half of the season, uh, the mostly. So yes, we play Everton and Man United away, uh, but we play Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal at home in the first half of the season and we also play Tottenham away as well so it's a little bit evenly split split which I really 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 like and also what I really like as well is we don't play really big teams uh, back to back which I don't really like uh, that uh, that shouldn't happen usually and sometimes it does happen but this season this next season that is coming up uh, hopefully Liverpool will uh, catch Manchester City and win the Premier League title. I think Liverpool will go until the last day of the season, hopefully, with Manchester City toe-to-toe -to -toe challenging for the Premier League title. Of course, the new signings will depend, um, will decide how good Man City will be, how good Liverpool will be. If Man City signs somebody like Erling Haaland or Kylian Mbappe or Harry Kane, then they could be absolutely unstoppable. But also, if Liverpool make a couple of really good signings, then Liverpool could be even better than they were um, uh, last season. Or I, I think Liverpool will try 
to replicate the season two seasons ago. Of course, it's almost impossible to do that because Liverpool have won 26 of the first 27 games and drawn one. This is a, that is the benchmark that Liverpool should be aiming for. The December fixtures the, around Christmas time are really, really tough in my opinion because we play Leeds United on Boxing Day. Before that, we play Tottenham and then we play Leicester away, Chelsea away. And that's, the, that's basically the, the Christmas and New Year fixture. So Tottenham, Leeds, Leicester, Chelsea, that's a really tough run of fixtures, but of course fixtures could be moved, it could be postponed, and it never turns out to be uh, how you expect it to be. And also let's take a look at when Liverpool play a really really big game. So we play uh, Man United uh, at Anfield on March the 19th, we play Man City away at the Etihad on April the 9th, and also we play the Merseyside Derby at Anfield on April the 23rd and we play Tottenham in uh, game week 36 on May the 7th. The last four or five fixtures are I think really really good for Liverpool. So we play Everton at home, Newcastle away, Tottenham at home, Southampton away and Wolves at home. So not the easiest fixtures but it's not the hardest either. I think we can probably target around 90 points that's what Liverpool should be aiming for and that should be good enough to either win the title or be in, uh, in and around the title race for sure and that's what I expect from Liverpool but I also want to share with you guys in Manchester City's fixture list because if you hear the first few fixtures of Man City oh my goodness you will love this so Man City play Tottenham away at uh, first then they play Norwich at home Arsenal at home, Leicester away, Southampton at home, Chelsea away, Liverpool away. So that is absolutely brutal. In the first six game weeks, sorry, in the first seven game weeks, Man City play Tottenham, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Liverpool. So five really, really tough fixtures. Basically last season's uh, top five uh, and uh, Arsenal as well. sorry last season's top six and Arsenal as well uh, but you know Man City will be probably on paper the strongest team again so I think this uh, should actually give Liverpool a little bit of the edge yeah, that if Liverpool can get off to a flying start then we could uh, basically get a little bit of a gap between ourselves and Man City but you wouldn't put past it for Man City to win every game that they play and also it, it, it is good news for the African contingent of the Liverpool squad Mo Salah, Sadio Mane and Naby Keita because um, they will probably avoid missing any big games because Liverpool play Brentford on the 15th of January and then they go to Crystal Palace and um, yeah, the Africa Cup of Nations, even if they go to the final, that will go until the beginning of February. But at least uh, Salah and Mane and, and Naby Keita don't miss the Chelsea game, which is at the beginning of uh, January. And hopefully Salah won't go to the Olympics uh, because then that way he could miss actually the start of uh, the Premier League season as well but that's still up in the air so overall the Liverpool fixtures look really good to me I think it's a very good first game against Norwich and not too hard of a start and uh, not too hard of a finish to a season and if the Africa Cup of Nations are correct then I think uh, Liverpool players will leave after Chelsea and they will miss uh, Brentford, Crystal Palace and maybe Leicester City if they go far in the tournament or any and also any domestic cup fixtures at the, at the uh, end of January start of February and the last time we played Norwich City on the opening day of the Premier League season we won the Premier League for the first time in 30 years so that's actually a good omen and hopefully Liverpool can win the number 20 and we really need to pull level with Manchester United and win number 10, 20 in terms of pre titles and uh, league titles in Liverpool's history I'm really really excited for the new season and actually this is the third season in a row that Liverpool will start against the newly promoted side which is uh, quite rare but also quite lucky if you like because on paper at least 
Norwich are one of the weakest teams in the Premier League. They are still a tough team to play against, but Liverpool usually get good results against Norwich, so let's hope it stays that way next season as well. And also you might wonder how the Champions League games will uh, be placed, uh, what kind of fixtures we have. Um, and the Champions League uh, game week one game is between the Leeds United away and Crystal Palace home games. So again, before or after Champions League games, you don't really want to play a really big team. The Champions League uh, second game is between Brentford away and Man City at home. So that's not ideal, but at least uh, even if we have to travel in the Champions League, we will play Man City at home. The third Champions League game is, I think, uh, the only worry in terms of traveling, because before Champions League game three, we have to go to Watford and after that we have to go to Manchester United. So let's hope that we can avoid a really long European trip because traveling three times in a row to an away game and especially in Europe you can travel vast big distances. That's not ideal as well. The Champions League fourth game is between Brighton at home and West Ham away. So that's, that's alright. The Champions League game 5 is, I think, the most ideal. It's Arsenal at home, Southampton at home. So even if we have to travel, we play home games uh, either side of that. And Champions League game 6 in the group stage is between Wolves away and Aston Villa at home. So I think, yes, there are some tricky fixtures to navigate, but the only two tough games are in uh, the, around the New Year when we play Leicester and Chelsea back-to-back. Every other time we don't play two really hard fixtures back to back but the, the hard fixtures are never the fixtures that you expect them to be hard or, or at least not uh, always it turns out to be. Sometimes you can have a really hard fixture against a really small team in the Premier League and beat one of the big teams pretty comfortably. That's just the way it goes in football. And of course, how can I not talk about the Norwich City-Liverpool game, the first Norwich-Liverpool game under Jurgen Klopp where we did an absolute madness where we won 5-4 with an Adam Lallana goal in the last minute and the Liverpool squad went crazy, Jurgen Klopp went crazy, Benteke broke Jurgen Klopp's glasses, the celebration, the mayhem. Make sure to watch that video, the highlights video on YouTube because that was an absolutely crazy day and I, that's the, those are the kind of games where, where I absolutely love to be a Liverpool fan. And I think Liverpool having a home game on the final day of the season against Wolverhampton, I think we played with Wolves uh, on the final day of the season a few seasons ago as well if I, if I remember correctly. That's ideal because if you are in the title race and if you have to win the last game to become champions or to be in with the chance to win the title, you want a home game against a team who will probably have nothing to play for and Wolves usually finish in mid-table around the European places uh, so hopefully they will have nothing to play for on the last day of the season so it should be a Liverpool home win on the last day and you always want that to happen so you can boost your chances of finishing as high up the table as possible. So let me know what do you think about the fixture list, what do you think about uh, Liverpool's chances in the new seasons, do you think Liverpool will win the title, do you think we will just finish in the top four, where we will finish next season. I really hope that Liverpool sign one more striker or one more attacker, somebody similar to Diogo Jota, somebody for not too much money but who can also develop and go to the next level with the help of Jurgen Klopp. But I think those signings will happen after the Euros. And thanks for watching guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, see you later, goodbye!